Hello everyone, it's Mr. Kerbal, your Grange head teacher, and I'm on my Grange Summer Holiday 2021 Reading Fund project. All the books that were recommended to me by Miss Jermack, our Grange librarian, and that is one of the best things about Grange, our library and all the books we have. So if you love reading, read along with me now, and if you love this book, you can ask for it, because it's going back to the library in September. So it's called Something Else. It's by Catherine Cave and Chris Riddle. And I really like this book because it's a book about tolerance. And tolerance is when you learn to get on with somebody who's not like you. That's called tolerance. And it's a very powerful thing. It makes the world a better place. And that's our Grange CC way, confidence and consideration. So this is a book about confidence to be yourself but also consideration to tolerate others who are not like you, others who are different to you. So that's the CC way. So here we go, something else. I'm enjoying the illustrations. So the illustrations are done by Chris. Chris Riddle of illustrations and the text is by Catherine Cave. On a windy hill, alone, with nothing to be friends with, lived something else. He knew that was what he was because everyone said so. If he tried to sit with them, or walk with them, or join in their games, they always said, um, Sorry, you're not like us. You, you're something else. You don't belong. Something else did his best to be like the others. He smiled and said, Hi, like they did. He painted pictures. He played their games when they let him. He brought his lunch in a paper bag like theirs. It was no good. He didn't look like them or talk like them. He didn't see the things they saw. He didn't play the way they played. As for packed, as for his packed lunches, look at them all eating their lunches. And here's his packed lunch. <laughs> you don't belong here, they said. You're not like us. You're something else. Something else went home. While he was getting ready for bed, there was a knock on the door. Something was standing on the doorstep. Hi there, it said. Great to meet you. Can I come in? Excuse me, said something else. Uh, you're welcome, said the creature. It stuck out a paw. Or maybe a flipper. Something else looked at the paw. Uh, I think you've come to the wrong place, he said. Creature shook its head. No, I haven't. This place is perfect. Look. And before something else realized what was happening, it walked right in. And sat down on his supper. Oi. Do I know you? Asked something else puzzled. Know me? The creature laughed. Of course you do. Take a good look. Go on. Something else looked. He walked round the creature from front to back. Or back to front. He didn't know what to say. So he didn't say anything. 
Don't you see the creature cried? I'm just like you. You're something else. And I'm one too. It stuck out its paw again and smiled. Something else was too surprised to smile back. He didn't take the paw either. Like, like me, he said. You're not like me. In fact, you're not like anything I've ever seen. I'm sorry, but you're definitely not my sort of something else. He walked to the door and opened it. Good night. The creature put down its paw slowly. Oh, it said. It looked sadder and smaller. It reminded something else of something, but he couldn't think what. While he was trying to remember, the creature left. Then something else remembered. Wait, he cried. Don't go. He ran after the creature as fast as he could. When he caught up, he grabbed its paw and held tight. You're not like me, but I don't mind. You can stay with me if you'd like to. And the creature did. From then on, something else had something to be friends with. They smiled and said hi to each other. They painted pictures. They played each other's games or tried to. <laughs> they ate their lunches side by side. And when something turned up that really was weird looking, they didn't say he wasn't like them and he didn't belong there. They moved right up and made room for him too. <laughs> and that's the book. So something else he was really kind and he tolerated other things that were something else and because of that they became friends and they could even welcome in somebody who really was different to them <laughs> look at that i like that story gave me hope made me feel we can make the world a better place together <laughs>